It goes without saying that Palantir is pretty much the best AI software company on the planet. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. Dan Ives from Wedbush thinks it, and Tom Lee thinks the exact same thing. I'm gonna show you guys in this video exactly what Tom Lee has said and what Dan Ives has said about Palantir. First, I wanna dive in and talk about why this company is so strong. And even though the markets pulled back last week, Palantir really did not. It was quick and it jumped right back up and they crushed earnings. Palantir is up 42% in the last three months. They've signed a partnership with Microsoft and their AI alliance. And Surf Air Mobility signed a partnership with Palantir for Surf Air Technologies. As of June of 2024, they have 300 new boot camps. Of course, we know about Project Maven and the $480 million contract that the Pentagon gave to Palantir for May of 2029. That's when the contract will be completed. They've picked up new customers like United Air. Airlines, Wendy's Restaurants, Edgescale AI, as well as Tampa General Hospital. They've increased their revenue over 100% in the last three years. They have 50-50 balance between commercial and government, which is really good. Geopolitical issues just means the government side of the business will do great making up for the commercial side. And when geopolitics settle down, things go back to normal. Well, guess what? The commercial sector takes over. Palantir is very, very strong no matter which scenario happens. The estimate EPS was $0.08 cents per share they beat the earnings with nine cents per share. Estimated revenue is 653 million. Palantir did over 678 million. Yet again, beating the earnings consensus or estimate. This marks the fourth quarter in a row Palantir has beaten expectations. Total revenue is up from 634 million in quarter one 2024 to 678 million in quarter two 2024. Net income is increased from 105 million to over 134 million. EBITDA is also up from 89 million to 113 million. Total assets up from 4.81 billion to 5.19 billion. Their net debt was negative 3.65 billion. Now it is negative 3.74 billion, meaning they went up from no debt sitting on 3.65 billion in cash to 3.74 billion in cash. Free cash flow is up from 126 million to 141 million from the first to the second quarter. The year over year growth and quarter over quarter growth growth with Palantir is absolutely insane. They are growing so quickly. A lot of these hedge funds and big institutions just want to hold Palantir back. They don't understand Palantir. Dan Ives and Tom Lee have said similar statements about Palantir. Specifically, Dan Ives has said that. Let's take a listen to what Dan Ives and Tom Lee have to say about Palantir. Before we do that, though, if you guys are having trouble understanding the market and trading and just overall looking to improve your knowledge and your financial freedom, you guys don't don't want to miss my free webinar that I am hosting today at 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific. That's right. Friday, August 16th, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. You guys don't want to miss this. I have a huge announcement during this webinar. You guys are going to learn technical analysis, fundamentals, financials, how to sell puts and get into a stock at a discount. And I'll be answering your questions. So you guys do not want to miss this. Spots are limited, very limited spots. So you need to sign up as quickly as possible. We could already Already be full right now, but you guys have to give it a shot. Head to the website right now. Link is in the information box below, and I hope to see you there. So let's listen to Dan Ives and Tom Lee. Someone's asking, could you elaborate on your views on Palantir? Because I know you've said it, you think it's also one of the best pure play AI plays. It, yeah, and look, my view of Palantir is institutionally hated. They think it's hype because they don't see that in their spreadsheets from the 10th floor of their office building on Park Avenue. I mean, we've spent time with hundreds of potential customers and Palantir is an example of probably the best purest play AI platform out there, AIP. They're now leveraging what they've done in government to enterprise. So Tom, this is not gonna happen overnight. So every quarter it's like, oh, it didn't happen. Like you expect, we're talking about what we believe 24 is a huge inflection year. AIP just got released, even if you go back six months ago. I think conversion is going to be jaw-dropping. And I think this is a name that's going to have a whole re-rating on the enterprise versus the government. And I think it's the pure... I, I don't see any major AI deployment at scale where Palantir is not getting one of the first calls. But it's Got a good it. example, but Palantir is a good example. Like, it's very easy on this 
to just get caught up in naysay or negative. That's where you got to like boots in the ground, spend time with customers, users. You're not going to find it in the spreadsheet. So you guys heard what Dan Ives said. Institutions think Palantir is a hype, hype train. They're afraid of it. They don't like it. They won't invest in it. And in my opinion, this is a big issue because Palantir is really not hype. They're delivering year over year growth, quarter over quarter growth, partnerships with different companies like Surf Air, as well as Microsoft. And they also have massive government contracts, big commercial contracts as well. They're sitting on almost $4 billion in cash. We with no debt. That's not hype at all. The growth is exponential. They have a $480 million contract up until May of 2029 with the Pentagon, Project Maven. They're accelerating their commercial growth. And just so you guys know, that Project Maven might be $480 million, but its value is worth up to $633 million. This is over half a billion dollars, and they're already sitting on just about $4 billion in cash. Palantir's forward looking PE ratio right now is 56. And they're actually lowering that to 50 in the next 12 to 18 months. That gives them a pretty decent PE ratio, considering they've only been on the stock market for four years. This is pretty rapid growth. In comparison to other companies, they're doing very well. So you should not be concerned with investing in Palantir. You've seen what Dan Ives said, what Tom Lee has said. They're both pretty much saying the same thing. Tom Lee even retweeted Dan Ives' post, meaning he agrees with it. He's sharing it. It's something that he agrees with. I feel that Palantir is going to hit $250 billion in market cap and possibly $500 billion. That's a 5 to 10x return from the current price. So that's like $150 to $300. And there is a price target with some analysts in the next three to five years of $130 to $170. So this is very doable considering it's AIP, AI software, and a lot of government and commercial contracts. So is Palantir the best growth stock right now? I think so. I do. And I think it is the best AI software right now. It's even better than SoundHound. I like SoundHound, but Palantir right now is the king of AI software. And I know that there are other companies involved in this similar space. However, Palantir is doing things that they are not getting all these big, huge government contracts. And considering Microsoft's working with the government as well, and now Palantir is partner with Microsoft makes it even better. Palantir is a strong buy, even at $30. It is a buy and hold long Long term, you guys can sell puts to get in, but ultimately Palantir is a great stock to hold and I am not letting go. I hold a pretty decent size in my large portfolio because I believe in the company. Only time will tell where Palantir goes, but a lot of your top analysts and a lot of your top traders and investors all believe in this company and there's a reason for it. I am hosting a free webinar today, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific time today, Friday, August 16th. You guys don't want to miss it. Limited spots remain. We might already be full, so you need to check right away. Link in the information box below. I'm going to cover how to sell puts to get into a stock at a discount, how to sell covered calls, how to generate juicy premiums, how to read charts, technical analysis, fundamentals, financials, technicals. You guys are going to learn so much stuff. I have a huge announcement that's going to happen during this webinar, and I'll also be hosting a Q&A where you guys can ask me questions. I hope to see you guys there. This video is over, guys, but don't worry. I picked out another video just for you, and it's right here. Click that video. I'm in two places at once, and I'll see you over there. And remember, until the next video, let's grow our wealth together. Take care, guys.